Hello viewers, in this video I'll be going over WTI crude oil, ETF ticker symbol, USO. Today we are down 46 basis points and the market is currently closed. On the one hour chart we do see we are still on negative MACD for several weeks already. And on the four hour chart we are touching oversold RSI and if we expand out to the daily chart we see we found a floor as supported back in July or I should say June, August and in October or today. So one could say that this is a real strong support that has been tested twice already and if this does make a reversal it will be the third attempt touching this floor. So at the moment what I see here is since we made a new or a recent high compared to where we were. So let me point it out for you. So what we have here is from this point, we made the low, same lows. We made another same low, and then we made a new high or a higher high compared to this. So that is a positive point that this trend is in progress of a reversal so it is possible that we do move higher from here however if this floor does break and we breach lower the next possible support or I shouldn't say support but we most likely will hit this gap what we have here between June 8th and June 9th so we gapped up overnight so that could be a possibility we may fill in that gap and as for resistance if we do make a reversal and head on higher the first resistance will be between the 9 day and 50 day moving average and that is around the price of $11.60 so if we were to move on higher that price movement is roughly around 6.5 1% but if we do head down lower the price movement is roughly 4% down so let's head to the forecast model on here I'll go day by day where WTI crude oil will head to the next coming days so we have one day out two days out three days out four days out five days out six days out and seven days out so which one of these forecast models we should focus on ideally the model that is the best match to the current trend right here is the current trend and below it is the trend that I believe is the best match. So let me point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have here in the beginning, we average below the bot or middle Bollinger Band. And then we were we touched the bottom Bollinger Band. And then we made a quick reversal to touch the upper Bollinger Band right there. And then finally, we made another complete reversal to touch the bottom Bollinger Band once more so let's check the trend in question so we had a downtrend for several days below the middle Bollinger Band and then we were touching the bottom Bollinger Band right here and then let's just mark all the instances where it touches the bottom Bollinger Band so we have those two and then finally instance where it touches the upper Bollinger Band so we have about one, two, three, four points. And we also have one, two, three, four points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So back then, October 15, 2013 to, to June 10, 2014, WTI crude oil was up around 4%. And we may see a possible reversal based on the third support if this support doesn't head lower either tomorrow or next week do expect the trend to see higher prices from here on out and this model is available when you sign up in the link below and it will be released in a couple weeks pretty soon and, or the latest next month, but it will be coming out soon. 
and here is the line graph that I compared it to. So we have the 2019 trend or current trend and overlapping it is the 2013 to 2014 trend. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.